Hello to everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is the next in the Mission Builders series and I'm going to cover implementing basic weather systems. It is summer's day, it's relatively clear and I'm going to show you how we can make the weather a little bit worse. So let's go to the Mission Editor. And here we are back in the Mission Editor and I'm going to select the cloud with the clock next to it so it's create weather conditions. So we'll click on that. As you can see, you can set your start time and the month that you want it to be, the year it wanted to be, and the time. It's a summer's day, 1st of June, 20 degrees as standard. A recent addition is the dust and smoke element. Effectively what you can do is you can click on that and you can increase the visibility range and it will give you something like this. Let's go into the mission. And here we are back in the mission and there's a little bit of dust around. Let's go to an outside view. Option 2. As you can see there's a dust haze so that's a recent addition. It's usable on any map and uh, would be ideal for the Persian Gulf to create a sandstorm type environment. And that's the latest edition, which is dust. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a weather um, situation where it's raining and it's overcast. So let me show you how I do that. Right, back in the mission, ed mission editor again. So let's get rid of the dust and smoke. Now there are some default settings here, default weather. And we're in June, so let's have, let's say... some a heavy thunderstorm. So we've selected that and now what we do to implement it is click on the file icon there and it says load. So we click on that and as you can see it's put in the various elements. So the cloud density is 10, the base level is 3200 feet so I'm going to make that a little bit higher. We'll leave the thickness as is we won't bother with fog because what tends to happen with fog is it ends up looking a little bit blue. Now I haven't tested it uh, recently but we'll test it out and see what happens. So we'll increase the visibility and the thickness down to 900 and then we'll save that and then we'll go into the mission. So I'll be right back with an in-mission view. And here we are back in mission again and as you can see the weather is a lot more inclement than we originally started with. We have thunderstorms, we have rain uh, which is appearing on the cockpit uh, and we still have blue fog unfortunately but not a great deal I can do about that so you can always turn the fog off uh, that's usually my preference uh, because it's not quite there yet. Now in the drop down that I showed you earlier in the mission builder can change the various weather conditions to be cloudy, to be rainy. You can change them to suit yourself, you can change the wind, etc. etc. Um, and that's basically it. That is the basic default weather settings for DCS. Um, let's have a look on the outside. As you can see, that fog is just a little bit too blue for my liking. Uh, it's very overcast. Uh, but having said that, we do have weather conditions. And you can change the wind to suit as well if you want to lower the wind levels because uh, obviously the aircraft reacts to wind. Um, so there you have it in a nutshell. Basic default weather setting in the Mission Builder. I hope you found that useful and I'll catch you later. Cheers now. Bye. <laughs>